Um, my name is Anthony Seeley. I'm a HGV transporter driver from Berlin. Uh, I'd been furloughed from work um, about a week and I started to feel ill with a cough and cold basically. Um, with a, a rattly chest, not a dry continuous cough as, as was described. And I was just tired and wanted to sleep constantly. Uh, well, I, I didn't know too much about it. Uh, my wife had phoned up and the paramedics turned up at the house and my oxygen sats were below 40% at the time, uh, which I didn't know. But to be honest, I didn't struggle to breathe at the time. Um, and then I was admitted to hospital. Then obviously the scary part was I said goodbye to the wife and I went away on my own and I was on my own basically after that. I was admitted in, into A&E with, uh, with a team of doctors, uh, give me a mask, tried to pull my oxygen levels up and a bit of panic going on and I don't realise anything after that. I woke up three and a half weeks later. It was a bit surreal when I woke up because I didn't know where I was or why I was there and I just had pipes and wires and things all over me. I was just watching nurses. I couldn't speak. I had a tracky tube in. Uh, so I didn't really know what, what was going on. Uh, recovery was hard. Um, I couldn't walk. When I, when I came out of hospital, I had a frame and a stick. I couldn't walk far and um, I lost three and a half stones in weight and muscle mass and it, it was difficult and the weather was warm so it, it was hard going and I was tired constantly. Uh, it was devastating for my family, obviously my wife um, just had to sit in the house and wait for the phone to ring with an update as to what was happening and not knowing whether she was going to get you know, the bad news. Twice she was told I wasn't going to make it, did she want to come and say goodbye to me in that period. And it was only the day I got my tracky tube took out and I could speak. Then I phoned my wife, she explained I'd been in a coma for three and a half weeks, which I didn't know anything about. Well, I would say <laughs> it is serious and um, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. And, and people might be okay and have no symptoms but can pass it to a relative, an auntie, an uncle, a grandma, a granddad, um, who will then become ill with it. Uh, I'm feeling good. Um, sorry. Uh, I've been back at work uh, five weeks. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good.